Hey everybody, it's Harry from Slapper Daddy Barbecue, the YouTube channel that teaches you how to master barbecue to so spread barbecue love. I'm catching up on my viewer requests video list today, and a lot of you have asked me to make these things called Pitmaster Bacon Cannonballs. What is it? It's just a fatty that's in a circular form around a onion or a mushroom or a cabbage. So for those of you who asked me to make this video, I'm going to show you guys how I do my version of a Pitmaster Bacon Weave Cannonball. bit of the meat left so what we can do with it I'll show you guys how to make a little bacon weave to go on the meat here all you need is a few pieces of bacon let me show you how to set it up Let's get some Carolina style sweet tangy sauce on it. A little bit of all American on the onion, cannonball. We had a touch of hot for heat. Some heat here. So I designed my sauces to lay on like Lego blocks. And you can add the heat, sweet, tangy, the original. They're all good on their own, but it goes a lot better when you kind of mix them up. So I like a little bit of heat, sweet. Let's try the cheeky sweet for the uh, fatty. Mix it up with a little bit of Carolina tangy. Kind of two choices together. Add a little bit of heat. And uh, look at how beautiful this thing looks here. And look at that, absolutely, absolutely gorgeous. Not sure how I'm gonna eat this, but let's give it a shot here. So, wow, good like onions, sausage, jalapeno cheese, all that wonderful goodness of the uh, Jimmy Dean style sausage. Absolutely, absolutely amazing bite. The soft onion is just so sweet and caramelized since you've been cooking in a pit between about 90 minutes to 2 hours. And let's try it now for the carrot. The layers of flavor with the sausage, cheese, all the goodness right here. Right here. Mm -mm -mm. You know, 
the wonderful sauce really complements the cabbage. Sauce has a sweetness, tanginess, and just a little bit of hint of heat. So super delish. If you ever want to try it, really, really easy to make. These are just amazing little appetizers that you can make for your friends and family while the brisket is cooking. You can see the cross section of the beautiful layers here. Absolutely, literally beautiful. All right. So that's kind of how the cannonball tastes. Let's give it a shot of this uh, fatty now, which is very traditional. I, I do fatties uh, during my classes as a, uh, uh, sometimes I have birthdays on special occasions, bar mitzvahs and so on. So I, I do some of uh, these fatties as a birthday cake. There's nothing better than a bacon wrap pit master fatty. A little bit of bacon weave. Not that hard to do. And uh, I see if Mr. Beans wants to try some of these. I have a Mr. Beans plate here of some of the wonderful cannonballs. And I'm gonna go ahead and make sure that he has no onion because apparently dogs can't have onions. So we'll give Mr. Beans a shot here. You ready to try some Pitmaster bacon cannonballs, Mr. Beans? Okay, yeah, go ahead, go. Checking it out and uh, scuffing it down. I think he's enjoying it. So we have cream cheese, we have bacon, jalapeno, some smokies in there also. Well, guys, thanks for stopping by, checking out my Pitmaster Bacon Cannonball episode. Please like, subscribe, and share. Huge thanks to my patrons for help crowdfunding efforts to spread barbecue love in this world. Until the next video, we will see ya. Say bye, Beans. Say bye. He's just too busy eating. Bye.